a video a day. That's uh, pretty crazy for my standards uh, lately. But my bre my work has just been so brain numbingly uh, horrible. <laughs> the current phase that I'm in, that you know, I just I just feel the need um, very urgently to just do something different once I finish for the day. Or at least once I have a little break in the evening, after which I might do more work. Uh, but today on the Daily Show, uh, Colbert was la uh, sorry, um, John Stewart was lampooning this. I don't know some internet company or whatever is basically strapping wireless modems to homeless people, and then they walk around with like a sign on them, and then if you give them two bucks. You can log on to them, the wireless modem, and get internet access. Um, now, while I don't think that's really going to become a trend, um, and whilst I think that's an especially callous example, uh, which is probably something of an outlier in terms of how far we've gone in accepting the dehumanization of people, and I don't think it's going to be widely accepted. People are going to think it's wrong and stupid. Um, it is kind of, I think symptomatic of this uh, this willingness to to suggest that poor people or people that are in need that we can completely objectify them and put them into degrading situations where well objectify where they basically become objects they are wearing a shirt that says uh, basically I'm a I'm a wireless hotspot um, and the the rationale behind this when people defend this kind of stuff is well you know they're in need it's improving their situation who are you to complain and of course uh, unfortunately there's always a little bit of a, a little bit of a kind of truth to that in that you know if it's actually helping them um, then it it can seem cruel to be against it um, on the other hand there's obviously something wrong with it. There's something wrong with them being in the position in the first place. And there's something very wrong with the idea that we're going to m put people into these positions and throw them these kind of dehumanizing crumbs so that they can maintain their own existence. Because what's going to happen is they're going to then have to rely on that. And that's going to solidify and entrench that <laughs> that kind of existence for them that dehumanization for them it's not like you know they do this dehumanizing thing whatever it is um, and then you know suddenly everything gets better for them or suddenly government recognizes uh, that you know that they need to do something no it's they do that thing and as long as they have some marginal utility to society and like we can safely ignore them and they're not starving to death on the streets. We say, oh, situation solved. And I mean, that's what the poor houses were uh, in England um, during kind of the early industrial age. They were a way of getting rid of damn poor people and making them useful, completely dehumanizing them and treating them basically like things. Uh, but people not everyone people back then already said that's not right you can't do that but most people said well they don't have the means to provide for themselves at least they're not starving so it's obviously better to put them in there than uh than to let them run around um and that's a very disturbing trend and as that kind of becomes acceptable as we say well you know that level of dehumanization obviously at least it's keeping them alive not nah. What happens to society is that that becomes more and more acceptable. We're kind of moving the Overton window or whatever you want to call it. Uh, like the standard of how a person should be treated is in a big way um, up to how the least of us are treated. And by accepting that the least of us can not just be exploited like almost everyone is to some extent, but completely dehumanized <clears throat> by setting this new kind of standard, uh, I think we're, you know, it's a real Pandora's box. And it's not like the Pandora's box was ever shut completely. There's <clears throat> always been 
um, the certain level of this stuff going on. I mean, you just need to look at prisons and how prisoners are treated there whilst they're forced to manual labor, make license plates or things. And now these are private prisons where they're essentially slaves to a private corporation that gets money for keeping them and then gets money from what they produce. Um, and then they even, I think in some cases, they hire these prisoners out to corporations that are willing to use them for various things. Uh, the point being that is, as that gets kind of more and more accepted, it's not that it ever was completely rejected by society, unfortunately, but as it gets more commonplace, I think we go to a place where more and more we can expect that to happen to people and to us if we should ever fall on hard enough times. And we can expect it to be less and less of a societal issue because people will say, no, we don't need to talk about that. If they were really, you know... If they were really that desperate, they would do this horrible thing. No, we don't need to. This guy just lost his job. No, we don't need to give him any support. There's that job where he can eat the crumbs off the floor. If he's not taking that, if he's too good for that, well, whatever. You know, let him starve. And I think that's an attitude that we need to avoid. It's an attitude that's always present to some extent. Um, but it's a very destructive attitude. And people just need to put themselves into that kind of situation uh it's very it's very easy to find yourself on the outside of society in some way by suddenly losing your income or so on and so forth and when it comes to homeless people like in this case um mental illness and various reasons like that uh basically explain that situation i, th I think we just there needs to be a certain level of human dignity and human respect that needs to just be uh, integral to society. Uh, and there needs to be a level of solidarity that goes as far as to say, no, this cannot happen. We're not going to let people be objectified and exploited and dehumanized to this extent. Society will step in before then. And uh, I think that's something that is uh, increasingly less true. And I think there used to be a time which wasn't, yeah, it was till pretty recently, where whilst it wasn't completely true that we were achieving that, we were doing better and better. And now it seems to me like we're doing worse and worse. Um, and it's creeping not just uh, into things concerning the homeless, but into lots of other jobs as well, where you hear all of the horror stories of the things that they're put through and the shifts and the the kind of terrible hours that they get um, and the, the, the increasing casualization of work with people not having fixed positions even though they're working full-time hours and all of that falls into the same basket of things. Anyways.